All right, hello everyone and welcome. It is Saturday, May 14th, 2016. We're about halfway through May at this point. And welcome to today's gameplay stream. Today will be the continuation of Doom's Campaign. A game that I played yesterday all day long and really enjoyed it. I First of all, the campaign <clears throat> is a big throwback to the old school Doom gameplay. In fact, it really does feel like they took old school Doom from the 1990s. And they modernized it. Great, you know, modern graphics, 60 frames per second visuals, updated gunplay with constant melee attacks now. Um, but also a lot of these secrets, right? Secrets from the classic series are a huge part of the game. And I played it for around three and a half hours and really enjoyed it. Even though I got stuck once or twice trying to figure out a secret. I think ultimately, you know, it turned out pretty well. And then last night... For about two hours, I played the multiplayer of Doom, and I actually went on record on Twitter and said, this is by far my favorite first-person shooter multiplayer game in a long time, especially right now it's my favorite. And, you know, that's saying a lot considering that lately I've been playing games like Black Ops 3 Zombies, uh, Battleborn, Overwatch, you know, there's a lot of these kind of game out there. Um, I really like the multiplayer of Doom. It is a very much a throwback to classic first-person shooter gameplay. It cuts out a lot of the bullshit that has been thrown into modern games. Notably, crazy, super wall-running, flying, acrobatic bullshit. People with sniper rifles that are insta-killing you from two feet away, which is fucking impossible in a real game, or in a real first-person shooter, which is why I say games like Call of Duty really aren't fucking first-person shooters anymore. You're not summoning fucking drones and perks and explosive robots and shit to come down out of the sky. No, this is very much a very classic game in a lot of ways. And I like that. Okay, I think we needed that. We need to return to the roots, the core of what first-person shooters are about, right? And that's what I like about Doom. So I'm enjoying it. And FYI, I'm playing it today, tomorrow, and Monday. So we've got three straight days of Doom for you. So if you're enjoying the playthrough, good news for you, right? Now, I'm going to right now, on this pre-stream, directly address some criticism that I received yesterday, in particular during my first gameplay stream of the game, uh, of the campaign. Because there are some people in my viewing audience, and not only in my viewing audience, but all over the internet, let's face it. In fact, it's a ton of people who don't seem to get it. And what I mean by that is they watch me play Doom, and they're like, I don't understand. Phil is taking time to look for secrets. He's trying to figure out how to get all the upgradable items. He's going nuts trying to find a lever so he can open a wall. He can get into the secret area. Uh, that's boring. That's boring. I want action constantly. If Phil would just go through and shoot things the whole time, this playthrough would be far more entertaining. And, you know... I don't understand why he's taking his time to look for secrets and do all this. It's not fun for the viewer. Alright. That's the criticism that I received yesterday. So, I'll be honest here. I'm going to be honest. You got a point. Anyone who said that, I'm, you know, I'm going to be... I'm not going to be a dick and be like, you're completely wrong. That's not true. That's absolutely not true. You've got a point. For someone who's sitting there watching a stream or watching a video on YouTube, right... To see someone walk through the level and looking for every nook and cranny and looking for a secret button or looking for a lever and going around trying to find stuff. Alright. It may not be super fun. Okay? And that's that's okay. I understand that. I, you're absolutely right. I will, in fact, say 100% to you directly. Anyone who said that yesterday, who was in the stream chat, or anyone on Twitter or wherever, you're right. You're absolutely right. So, there. You've got your recognition, right? However, now here's my counter to that. Because, I'm going to be honest, it does upset me when I hear stuff like that. Because that means, basically, that my viewing audience doesn't get me. Okay? You don't understand me. And I've been doing YouTube since 2007. Started doing it pretty much... You know, as a seri more serious thing around 2008 and full-time since 2010. Um, I've been around the block. Most other YouTubers who people watch do it have not been doing it as long as I have. 
Most other YouTubers who do this for a living don't do it the way I do it, and that's perfectly fine. There's different people who do things different ways, and there's different forms of entertainment that are provided on YouTube. And that's cool. But, obviously, if someone's sitting here in a stream chat, or on a comment of a video, or on Twitter, and they're watching my playthroughs, and they're giving me a, a criticism like that, that basically means you don't get me. Because, I haven't changed since I started doing this on YouTube, okay? Now, I've seen spikes of popularity and dips of popularity. I've seen peaks and valleys. It goes up and down and up and down. I'm used to it at this point. Sometimes I'm hot, sometimes I'm not. It all depends on what I'm playing. It depends on the situation going on at the time. It, it varies. It fluctuates greatly. Okay? And I get that. And I understand that. And that's okay. And the bottom line is, I'm okay with who I am on YouTube. Am I the most popular fucking guy on YouTube playing video games? Fuck no. Not even close. I'm not even in the top, probably top 500 anymore. There's probably 500 people who make a living playing games on YouTube who get more views and more popularity and make more money than me. And I'm okay with that. Because I can still make a living. I can still do this daily. And guess what? There's obviously still an audience for the style of video that I put out because I'm still doing it. Eight years later, I'm still doing this. So obviously there's an audience for it, right? Or else I wouldn't be doing it anymore. No one would be watching. So here's the deal. This is my style of video. I'll explain it to you because there may be people who've jumped on over the years who don't understand my style of video and what I do, okay? When I play a game, I play it at face value, I play it without much exposure to the game previously. I don't want to spoil myself on a game before I start playing it, okay? I give you live, honest, raw, reactionary commentary to what's going on in the game. Now, I may joke about it. I may add in pop culture references, and I may have some, you know, some funny stuff to say and ridicule and stuff to integrate into the playthrough, but primarily when you watch me play a game, you're seeing someone who hasn't had a lot of exposure to the game play it for the very first time. This gives you a frame of perspective that if you don't know a lot about the game and you were to play it, this is probably how you would react. And thousands upon thousands of people over the years that I've done this on YouTube have said, Phil, thank you for making videos this way because this allows us to decide for ourselves whether or not this is a game that we'd be interested in and want to go out and buy for ourselves and play for ourselves and experience, or if it's maybe not our cup of tea because we watch you play it and we're like, eh, I don't like that style of gameplay or eh, I don't like what's going on in this game, okay? So here's the deal. That's how it's been. Now, I've done this since 2008. When I did it in 2008, it was new. It was fresh. It was hot. It was the big thing, right? It was like different that someone would do videos like that. Back then in 2008, most people who did videos of, of gameplay on YouTube either had no commentary or the commentary that they did was more like tutorial based. Like, I am a master of this game and now I will walk you through the game step by step. And that's not what I do. All right? But that's how I've always done videos. That's what I want to create. I feel that this kind of video has merit and has worth to a viewer base. Okay? Now, let's, let's be completely fucking honest here. Alright? Completely honest. There's many people on YouTube who play video games that are more popular than me. And the style of video that they do is a lot different. It's edited. They cut out the boring stuff right? It's constant commentary. A lot of times has nothing to do with the game. They'll sit there and they'll tell you a funny story about something that happened, or they'll do commentary on stuff that's going on outside of the game, right? They've got a face cam on the whole time, and they've got dyed neon hair, and they constantly make facial expressions and overreactions to stuff going on in the game, and they shriek every 10 seconds to keep you entertained, all right? Now, I'm not saying that that's wrong or bad, all right? There's a market for everything, and obviously there's a huge market for that kind of video because that's what's popular on YouTube today. Let's face it, people like me who are just playing a game at face value and going through it aren't getting views. We're not. We're not super popular. It's those people with their scripted shit, 
with their crazy entertainment value. It's a big production. Let's play a game and scream and act, you know, and act out and have crazy facial expressions and, you know, it's everything's a joke constantly. Everything's supposed to be something to make you laugh or react. Those are the people who are popular on YouTube. And again, I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm saying that's popular. And I'm okay with that, that they can get their views. They can get the mainstream views of the people who just want to jump on YouTube for 10 minutes a day and watch someone dick around in a game and laugh, ha, 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 and then go away. Because the bottom line is, at least in my opinion, those videos have a place, a place in entertainment value, but they don't have any kind of informational value, right? When you watch those people play games, are you actually getting a representative uh, piece of what it would be like playing that game? No. You know, they, you're not. You're not You're not actually getting to see at face value what that game is. So right now, if I were playing Doom, and I were rushing through the game, and I skipped all the secrets, so I didn't get any of the optional weapons, I didn't get any of the upgrades, I'm just running through, running and gunning, constantly doing combat, 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 and I'm joking, you know, and I dyed my hair, and I turned on my face cam here. Hold on. So here, I turn, oh wow, it's dark as shit in here, you can't even see me. <laughs> Hold on. At least now you can see me. Holy crap. So, I know my hair's all screwed up. Who cares? Uh, so here I am. And constantly, I have, you know, I'm, oh, I'm making faces at the camera. Ho, ho, ho. And I'm laughing. And I'm joking. And I'm, I'm talking about all this stuff, right? And I'm doing all this stuff outside of the game to entertain you. All right? I could do that. I could. I could do that easily, and I'd probably get more views, and I'd probably be more popular because it would be the status quo for YouTube is to sit here and be the clown or the entertainer, but that's not what I do. Since 2008 when I started to now, that's not what I do. So people coming on the stream and complaining in the stream chat, why, is, why this isn't super entertaining at every moment? Well, guess what? Life isn't super entertaining at every moment, right? When you actually go and you watch a television show or you watch a movie, is every moment that you're watching it super entertaining? No, because you've got character development, plot development, backstory. You've got all these things that happen until the, the big payoff, right? So when you're watching one of my playthroughs, all right? <clears throat> so one of these playthroughs that I'm doing, okay? You got to take it at face value of what it is. If you want to see someone play a game and honestly and, and represent that game of how it is to be played by anyone who just wants to jump in and play it for the first time, that's what you're getting here. That's the point of this video and this stream, okay? Um, when you're watching my playthrough, there's going to be times when it's kind of boring because that's representative of what's going on in the game. Now, I'll try to make it entertaining if there's an opportunity for commentary or an opportunity to try to spruce it, spruce, spruce it up, excuse me. I'll try to do that, but not every possible moment of every playthrough that I do is going to be hyper entertaining, but that's just like life. In real life, not everything is always hyper entertaining, and if you want to know representative of what the game is, then you have to put up with those moments, all right? When I did this in 2008, it was revolutionary and it was different and people loved it. Then over the years, people found out, well, if I just edit my gameplay to take out all those boring parts and I just make it joke 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 funny reaction reaction joke joke funny funny reaction reaction all the kitties jump on and watch me and i can become super popular on youtube good for you but that's not what i do so don't come into the stream chat and complain that i'm not someone that i'm not because i never was and i never will be and i'm okay with that i'm okay with not having millions of views on every fucking video i put out you know part one of uncharted 4 two million views Wow. And what did they do in part one? They joked, they joked, face cam, face cam, reaction, reaction. Okay, fine. I get it. It's popular. Go watch that then. But don't just sit here and complain. Don't go on social media and complain. Go to my forums and complain, 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 complain. You're the one who put your butt in the seat. And I know there's people out there who are like, man, I wish Phil would change. And I wish Phil would evolve to be different so that he could be popular. That's not evolution. That's copying other people who have found a formula for success on YouTube, that's not what I do. I'm successful in my own way. It's a lot less successful than most people who do this full time, but I'm okay with that. Because when I wake up in the morning and I say, man, today I get to play a new game and I get to experience it for the first time and I get to share this with everyone. 
right? I get to share this publicly with everyone, and I get to show them what the game is like, and I get to have that first-hand experience with everyone. It makes me feel good that I'm doing something productive. I'm doing something that has value, and I'm not saying that entertaining videos don't have value too, and let's face it, if you watch my playthroughs, there are many moments of entertainment. There's tons of times during a playthrough, I screw up and I die hilariously, or I, f I fail, or something crazy happens and I react to it in a funny way or an entertaining way. There's many times in my playthroughs that are entertaining, because the bottom line is if there was no entertainment value, no one would ever watch me, okay? But it's not constant, everyone, it's not instant gratification every possible second, and I really think that's the what's happened with YouTube is over the years, YouTube went from a place where people who have ideas and have talent and have value to share with people, that's what it originally was. If you don't have the money to back yourself to have public exposure, use YouTube. Now YouTube has been the place where kids get instant gratification at every possible moment. I click on this video, within five seconds, I'm, I have a laugh splitting, you know, a side splitting laugh because something funny happened, someone fell, off, fell on their face or something. And then I click on this gameplay video and there's <laughs> crazy faces and ah, screaming because they're scared and all that shit. And that's what YouTube's become. Instant gratification on the internet. But that doesn't mean that every video on YouTube has to be that. Stop, you know, stop having this mindset that everyone has to conform to this one thing. That is such an incredibly closed-minded mindset. And by the way, please don't take this as, as me being negative, because I'm not. I've had a great couple of months. I'm loving what I'm doing. But when I see the kind of reactions that I saw yesterday when I'm playing a game like Doom, where, let's face it, major chunk of what is in Doom is, is looking and finding secrets. That's a major chunk of the game. It's always been a core aspect of Doom, is to look for secrets, find the secrets, okay? And I'm doing it live. So there's going to be times when for 10 minutes I can't figure out a secret, and I'm raging about it, and I'm running around, and then all of a sudden I find the lever and I pull it, and there's realization, oh, I've, I discovered the secret, right? That's the payoff at the end of that 10 minutes. So it's not going to be ultra gratifying for every possible moment that I do the playthrough. But understand that my style is different than these people who give you the instant gratification. If that's all you care about, instant gratification, then go watch that video. That's perfectly fine. But then if you actually want a representative equivalent video about what it's like to play the game, come watch me. That's how I'm different. That's my appeal. That's always been my appeal. <clears throat> And again, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to say that the way other people do it is wrong. I'm saying the way I do it is different, and I've always done it that way. So it's not fair. It's honestly not fair for people to tell me to change, for people to come in here and, and, and basically get on their soapbox. This is boring. This is why Phil is not popular on YouTube, because he, does, he has all these boring segments in his gameplay. And Okay, so if you really, if that's all you want, you want the, the cheap laugh, you want the cheap jump, or whatever it is, go watch it. It's there. It's got millions of views. There's a reason why, because apparently that's all people care about. No one, you know, how many people, in comparison to the people who are just looking for a quick laugh or a quick reaction, are looking for actual representative gameplay? It's not popular anymore. Now that could change. Who knows? And I've seen, again, YouTube's been like this for me. So in a couple years, it could change again. And all of a sudden, people want that again for whatever reason. You know, There's things coming up. For example, PlayStation VR is coming out later this year. Now, I'm getting it. And me playing that firsthand and showing you what it's like to play PlayStation VR could be incredibly interesting. Because people want to, want to see what it's like, but they don't want to spend the money. So they're going to come out and say, Oh, here's Phil playing PlayStation VR for the first time, and we can get that first-hand experience of what it's like. And then once we see that, raw and unedited, we can make the decision for ourselves whether or not we want to buy it, right? Now, those other YouTubers will be laughing, and it, the whole video that they put out will be f two minutes of them laughing and failing and flailing around and joking and wow, wow, and all this shit for the camera, right? And that'll be their video. Instant gratification. You laugh for two minutes. Or you could watch me do it long form and you'll actually know what it's like to play PlayStation VR and you could judge if you want to buy it. That's the point of the video. All right. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. All right. And I understand there's always going to be criticism and that's fine. But to say that Phil's not like everyone else, yeah, you're right. That's the point. That's the point I'm making. That's the whole point I've ever done on YouTube is that I want to do stuff differently. I want to be the guy 
who's different than everyone else. I don't want to be the guy who only does it for popularity, only does it for money. Because the bottom line is, when I was white hot popular in 2010, 2011, and I saw these trends, I could have changed my whole formula up and did it just like them. And I didn't. Because I didn't want to be that guy. I didn't want to be the entertainer or the clown or the instant gratification guy. I wanted to be the guy doing worthwhile gameplay. And I hope that means something to you as a viewing audience. That, wow, Phil is different. That's why I'm here. I'm here to watch Phil play Doom. Because I want to see how long does it take to discover the secrets. How long does it take to actually legitimately play through the campaign. What are your reactions to all the things that happen in the game. Not, oh, Phil's rushing through killing everything quickly to do an expert level playthrough of combat. Or, oh, he's laughing and joking constantly. That's not what it's about. So there you have it. All right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So. Outside of all that, what else is going on? Not much. I'm not really going to go into too much detail about anything else. Um, the only thing, in fact, for gratuitous plug for today, the only plug that I will give is that my girlfriend, Leanna is having a big sale this weekend on her business, The Black Current. If you're not aware, etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash The Black Current, spelled C-U-R-R-A-N-T. She's got a big sale going on, all these discount codes. She's got two codes, I believe. One is for like 20% off an order, and one's for 30% off an order, okay? Now, I'm not sure uh, what the codes are, but I've been, I posted it up on social media. So if you check out my Twitter, if you check out my Instagram, you'll see the discount codes. And those are only good till Monday, so I recommend if you've been looking at maybe at, into maybe buying some stuff, some handmade glycerin soap, some wax tart melts uh, from her business, now is the weekend to do it. Because she's looking to clear some inventory with this discount sale, and she's working on her summer line, which is going to launch like next month, okay? So there you have it. That's pretty much it, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for being here, for being patient. The pre-stream wasn't too long today. In fact, it, I don't even think it was 20 minutes long, even though it's hilarious because here we go again, people in the stream chat. Ah, oh, his 40-minute pre-streams. Okay, sure. But that's what I mean. Instant gratification, right? Because I didn't instantly start the game when the stream started. You guys sit there and complain and criticize instead of realizing this is what I do. Meaningful streaming. Meaningful videos. Not instant gratification every moment. Okay, then. So, let's complete the pre-stream. And then we will continue with the campaign of Doom. Fair enough? Sound good? Alright, let's do it.